Happy learning! Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 15th series of uh, the Clinical Research and Pharmacovigilance. In this video, we are going to see about the pharmacovigilance aspects in the national and uh, international context and the statistical methods for pharmacovigilance. Uh, the pharmacovigilance in Europe. Pharmacovigilance in Europe is a comprehensive system of monitoring and ensuring the safety of medicinal products, including pharmaceuticals and vaccines after they have been approved and introduced into the market. The European Medical Agency and national regulatory authorities in the European Union, uh, the member states are responsible for overseeing the pharmacovigilance activities. The system is designed to detect, assess, understand and prevent adverse events or any other drug related problems contributing to the patient safety and public health. The European Medical Agency is a central regulatory agency responsible for the scientific evaluation, supervision and coordination of medical products across the European Union. It plays a crucial role in coordinating pharmacovigilance efforts among the member states. Pharmacovigilance legislation The EU has established a comprehensive legal framework for pharmacovigilance through regulations, directives and guidelines. The key legislation includes uh, the regulation EC number 726 bar 2004, directive uh, 2001 bar 83 bar EC and regulation uh, EU number 1235 bar 2010. Marketing authorization holders, MAH. Pharmaceutical companies holding the marketing authorizations for the medicinal products are responsible for monitoring and reporting the adverse events. <coughs> They are required to have a qualified person <coughs> responsible for pharmacovigilance and establish a pharmacovigilance system. Pharmacovigilance working parties. The pharmacovigilance uh, risk assessment committee is a working party with the European Medical Agency responsible for assessing and managing risks associated with the medicinal products. Pharmacovigilance in US. Uh, in US, it's a comprehensive system for monitoring and ensuring the safety of pharmaceutical products, including the prescription drugs and over-the-counter medications after they have been approved and are available in the market. The US uh, pharmacovigilance system is primarily overseen by the US Food and Drug Administration, that is USFDA, as it involves the range of activities aimed at detecting, assessing and managing the adverse events and other safety related issues associated with the medications. US FDA. The FDA is a regulatory agency responsible for protecting and promoting the public health by ensuring uh, safety, efficacy and quality of drugs, uh, medical devices and other products. The FDA plays a central role in pharmacovigilance activities in the US. Adverse Event Reporting System. Um, Federation of uh, Adverse Event Reporting System is a FDA's uh, database for collecting and analyzing the adverse event reports related to drugs and therapeutic biological products. Healthcare professionals, patients, consumers and manufacturers are encouraged to report the adverse events to FAERS. MedWatch program. The FDA's uh, MedWatch program uh, provides a platform for reporting the serious adverse events product quality program problems and product use errors associated with the medications and medical devices. This reporting helps identify potential safety issues and trends. Risk evaluation and mitigation uh, strategies that is RIMS. The FDA may require manufacturers to develop and implement uh, RIMS programs for certain medications with known or potential serious risks. The risk evaluation and mitigation strategies include elements to ensure safe use such as restricted distribution, training for healthcare professionals and patient education. Advisory Committees The FDA convenes advisory committees composed of experts from the various fields to provide independent advice to on the drug safety issues including the evaluation of adverse events and risk management strategies. Safety Labeling Changes The FDA has the authority to require uh, manufacturers to update uh, the drug labeling to include uh, new safety information or warnings about the adverse events. 
Pharmaco epidemiology research, the FDA conducts Pharmaco epidemiology studies to assess the real world safety of medications by analyzing large healthcare database. Pharmaco vigilance in UK. Pharmaco vigilance in UK is a system of activities and regulations aimed at monitoring and ensuring the safety of medicines once they are approved and available on the market. The UK has a well established Pharmaco vigilance net framework that involves regulatory authorities, healthcare professionals, pharmaceutical companies, and patients working together to detect, assess, and manage the risks associated with the medications. Medicines and Health uh, Products uh, Regulatory Agency, that is MHRA, is the regulatory authority responsible for overseeing the safety, quality, and uh, effectiveness of medications and medical devices in UK. It plays a central role in pharmaco vigilance activities. Yellow Card Scheme The Yellow Card Scheme is the UK system for reporting the adverse events to the medicines. Healthcare professionals, patients, and consumers can report the suspected adverse events through Yellow Card website or app. The MHRA analyzes these reports to identify potential safety concerns. Clinical Practice Research Data Link The CPRD is a research service that collects anonymized patient data from general practices across UK. It is used for pharmacovigilance research and pharmacoepidemiology studies. Signal Detection The MHRA uses data analysis and statistical methods to detect potential safety signals from adverse event reports and other sources. When signals are detected, further investigation is conducted to assess causality and determine the appropriate, appropriate actions. Risk minimization measures. The MHRA may require pharmaceutical companies, as in US, to implement risk minimization measures for specific medications, such as additional warnings, restricted distribution, or educational materials. Pharmaco Vigilance Inspection Program The MHRA conducts inspections of pharmaceutical companies to ensure compliance with the pharmaceutical regulations, guidelines, and effectiveness of their safety monitoring programs. Pharmaco Vigilance Public Assessment Reports This is an initiative by the MHRA which publishes uh, the PVPAs that provide a detailed information about the benefit risk assessment of medicines based on available safety data. Advisory groups, similar to US, uh, US, the MHRA collaborates with the advisory groups, expert committees, and manage safety concerns related to the medicines. European and international collaboration. The UK collaborates with the EMA and international partners to ensure the exchange of pharmacovigilance information and coordination of safety efforts. Pharmacovigilance in Australia. In Australia, uh, there is a soundproof uh, system uh, to ensure the safety of medicines and other therapeutic uh, products after they have been marketed. The Therapeutic Goods Administration is the regulatory authority responsible for overseeing the pharmacovigilance efforts in Australia. The goal of pharmacovigilance is to detect, assess, and manage the AEs and other safety related issues associated with the medication. In France, it is a French National Agency for Safety of Medicines and Health Products, that is EANSM. It is the regulatory authority responsible for overseeing the safety of medicines, medical devices, and health products in France. It plays a central role in pharmacovigilance activities. Uh, the French pharmacovigilance system includes regional pharmacovigilance centers located in different regions of France. These centers collect and analyze the AEs, coordinate the activities, and provide support to the healthcare professionals and patients. In China, it is China National Medical, Medical Products Administration, that is NMPA. It is the regulatory agency uh, which uh, plays a major role in pharmacovigilance activities. Uh, so, the NMPA works through the adverse drug reaction monitoring and reporting system. Uh, pharmaceutical companies also required uh, to report uh, AEs to NMPA in China. In Japan, it is PMDA, Pharmaceuticals and Medical uh, Devices Agency. It's a regulatory agency responsible for safety, efficacy, and quality of the pharmaceutical products, medical devices, regenerative medicines, and other products in Japan. This uh, PMDA uh, 
works through adverse drug reaction information system that is adris uh, and also required to the pharmaceutical companies also required to report uh, the aes to pmda which is similar to china adverse adris is a national database that stores and manages the adverse event reports and other safety related data it helps identify potential safety signals and trends in india uh, the pharmaco vigilance in india the program name is uh, uh, the cdsco program national pharmaco vigilance program of india which is a part of ipc that is indian pharmacobial commission the goal of pharmaco vigilance is to detect assess and manage the aes and other safety related issues associated with the therapeutic products and ensure the patient safety and public health in india let us see the statistical methods for pharmaco vigilance statistical methods are essential in the evaluation of medication safety data uh, to identify the potential safety signals assess the significance of uh, observed adverse events and make informed decisions about the safety profile of pharmaceutical products various statistical uh, techniques are employed to analyze the aes uh, data and determine uh, or detect the patterns and might indicate a safety concern first is descriptive statistics descriptive statistics such as frequencies proportions and measures of uh, central tendency that is mean median mode provide a summary of uh, adverse event data allowing for a quick overview of the distribution of events then incidence rates calculating the incident rates helps in determining the rate at which the ae occur in relation to exposure of the medication so this can be useful for comparing the occurrence of the aes across different population at different time points next is disproportionality analysis this method involves comparing the observed frequency of a specific adverse event with frequency that would be expected based on the background rates the most commonly used tool for disproportionality analysis is the reporting the odds ratio or proportional reporting ratio chi square test it is used to assess the association between two categorical variables such as occurrence of an ae and use of a particular medication it helps to determine whether the observed frequencies differ significantly from the expected frequencies then fisher's exact test uh, this is used uh, when the sample size is small and chi square test assumptions are not met it's commonly a 2 into 2 contingency table to analyze the association between the variables cohort studies involve following a group of individuals who have been exposed to a medication and comparing the aes with those of unexposed control group this method helps to assess whether the medication is associated with the increased risk of specific adverse events then case control studies case control studies start with a group of individuals who have experienced a particular ae and compare them with a group of individuals who have not experienced the event that is controls the odds ratio is often used to assess the strength of association survival analysis it is used when uh, the time to occurrence of ae is of interest kaplan meier curves and log rank tests are common tools for comparing the event free survival between the groups different groups bashian data mining bashian uh, methods use uh, prior knowledge uh, updated with the observed data to estimate the probabilities bashian data mining uh, techniques can enhance the signal detection by incorporating information about the likelihood of an event and the medical exposure time series analysis it is used to analyze the ae uh, data over time it helps to detect the temporal patterns or trends in the occurrence of ae after exposure to a medication these statistical methods are often used in combination to comprehensively evaluate the medication safety data it's important to consider factors like sample size data quality confounding variables and the clinical context when selecting and applying the statistical techniques for safety evaluation additionally regulatory agencies provide guidelines and recommendations for statistical analysis in pharmacovigilance to ensure standardized and reliable assessments of medical safety so it's a very short information of the trends of pharmaco the national international uh, uh, scenario of the pharmacovigilance and the statistical methods for pharmacovigilance i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel 
if you like this video kindly press the like button and encourage us go through all the series of videos which is available in the playlist clinical research and pharmacovigilance uh, in the pharma topics channel thank you